We have a brother MFC 7860DW printer that um, had a very big page count on it. Um, and one of the problems that it's it's come up to, and that's normal for this printer, um, is that the toner smears on the page when you pull it out or if you use it and then you notice that there's uh, lines or dust like that. So if I just rub over with my finger, um, we can see that some color goes away, toner goes away. So that means there's fuser roller or uh, the pressure roller on the fuser is just going bad. This printer I just want to point out and I really like uh, Brother printers because of that because they usually cost about 150 to 250 for a machine like this new at the store and um, they pretty much kept it in a very good, a good build. They just updated the face like did some facelift to it and stuff but usually it's pretty much the same inside. Um, this machine ran for 130 and a half thousand pages, so 130,000 um, going on to 131,000, and that's really good. They usually are built to last about 100,000 or sometimes even less than that, but these last a very good amount of time. They're going to print a lot of pages for you. So, just want to point out that this machine has worked for someone for a very long time, um, and Basically, it got to this one problem that can be fixed sometimes in about $20. Um, on this machine, we need to replace a, a toner sleeve, a fuser sleeve. I'm going to turn off the printer, disconnect it, and I'll show you where that's at. If we look in the back, we're going to let's just remove this duplexer. We're going to open the back door, release this piece by just pushing it to the right and to the left and then this cover as you can see it when you are able to put it down like this it just it comes out right there like so and our fuser unit is right in here so you can see that this is the fuser unit I'm gonna open and show you what's going on so you can see by now that there's something wrong and over here on the fuser sleeve you can see how it's already damaged from lots of use um, that can be replaced or you can just get a new fuser unit it's gonna cost about a hundred dollars for a used one you can find one online for about 50 um, and that's also a good option especially when a seller provides amount of um, use it's had if it has anywhere between maybe around 10,000 pages that's not bad that's that's pretty closer to new than uh, like this one here so that's not a bad option for like 50 or 60 dollars um, so the as you can see this is what's causing this toner on this page not to stick is because that area right there is damaged and that uh, sleeve is not cooking this toner onto the page. So um, I'll show how to remove that and fix that in another video. Uh, you can, I'll put the link down below. Um, I already have the same for a bigger printer that's like MFC 8510, 87, uh, 10 series. Um, I'll also put those links below where we re replace the sleeve on that. Um, this one is pretty much similar concept, but it is a, a smaller fuser unit, so we'll we'll just work on that. Um, but most likely, if you are having the same issue, just open the back of the here. Put some light in there there could be just sometimes paper on there that's stuck to the fuser sleeve remove that gently um, without ripping because this fuser sleeve is very thin and if you use hard tools on it it'll just break in um, just try to be very careful remove maybe this here in order to have better access for you um, pull out the tray from the front remove these pieces 
Here, I'll show you how to do that. Let's remove them on this side. Use a flathead screwdriver. Just kind of pull it to the right. Remove it. This just comes out. Now you have plenty of space to check out what's going on. Um, and then just make sure you put everything back. If if your fuser is all fine, just needed some cleaning, just uh, put everything back and you're good to go. So make sure you put this piece back in first. So we're gonna put this piece into these slots here. Just slides under like so. So you don't even have to do the what I showed you before. So you just stick it in here and just slide it under there. So we learn together. And then this piece goes also in a similar way. You just slide it in here, slide it like so, and then you lift it. Then put these in. Just snap them in there. Close that and put the duplexer back. So thank you for watching. If you need to replace the uh, f uh, sleeve on the fuser, we're gonna do that together in the next video. Um, well, I don't have a fuser sleeve, but I'll just show you how to get to the fuser and um, replace that part. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and have a wonderful day.